Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming to this uh, The Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh by Mr. Ernest Shepherd. And uh, I'm, I during the painting, the whole painting, I talk about him and how I learned with him. Uh, when I didn't have a teacher, I go to the library and I find his books and it was so great. I was so grateful and it's my tribute to him because last year, 2023, or maybe this year, 2024, his copyright expired. So he has been gone for more than 95 years, I think, um, from the days of his death. And so finally, this opened to public and I wanted to make a tribute to him and uh, to show you just part of uh, how to learn, you know, uh, with your drawing and painting. And I'm, uh, we, it went, the filming went really well and uh, we didn't make a lot of mistake or maybe a little bit. And uh, so, um, you will have fun, hopefully, watching. If you just want to watch it, that's fine. If you really are like me, just absolutely love drawing and wanted to, you know, just kind of, I will give you some tips on what to do. And uh, with drawing, then you can, uh, you know, paint along with me. And I hope you will do that. And uh, I always encourage we to us to all get a sketchbook and whatever pen pencil we have so when there's a chance you see something beautiful then you will be able to do that now there is never really a scene in mr shepherd's with this okay so uh with winnie the pooh and um christopher robin yes but i actually uh you know uh, do some uh, of my own composition and let the uh, eel pulling his shirt down to help because Eeyore never was helping in this scene. In this scene, there was a bunch of rabbit and some uh, mouse and some, and actually there was a, and Piglet was actually, um, well, I actually show you the, the, uh, the, the painting I made for my granddaughter. So you see that when you start painting with me and uh, there's actually a hedgehog. It's just really fun. Um, and I will tell you some of the mistake that I make as I was learning through the years and how I, you know, try to correct it and, uh, you know, uh, and how awesome an artist that he really is. And I'm very grateful for him because he helped me immensely. He helped me learn how to use, sh uh, look at shapes and forms and, you know, during my time of er uh, time of learning. And so um, this is really fun. I, I really had a lot of fun because this is the thing that I really like to do. And so I'm going to sign this, um, you know, because this is my composition and uh, uh, Mr. Shepherd and I give him, I hope I give him enough credit and, uh, you know, and how to do the form. And so Piglet look round and, you know, the head and the body anyway, and the use of color here is, is quite different. But I'm glad that I can able to do that because of the no more copyright um, and that we can uh, do this. And I'll do this kind of thing from time to time. I hope you really find that um, enjoyable and uh, and uh, beneficial to do this with me and um, uh, you know just take your time you don't have to do as fast as I do you know because I'm always pushing for time but this is good time we're, we're doing well in this painting and so um, I will stop talking and uh, drawing of this I think a drawing of the general shape will be on my blog post instead of all the detail because you can follow me because I show you all the detail of how I how I build this up, you know, together, right? And so, uh, of the general shape, I will put that on the um, on my on my blog, and uh, and hope that you will uh, go and fetch it if you really want to. But if you really want to, just okay. What I'm doing right now, I'm trying to recover a little bit of the fatness of Winnie the Pooh, but it's fine. And uh, so I. Uh, encourage you guys to do this with me okay and uh, I, pro I have some link i will probably link um well you see that i use this 0 0.3 pencil i think that this is in my um in my block in the product list but if not or something i'll put it in the description so you can click this is really nice um, a very very sharp pencil that you can draw because i like lines to be delicate you know and um uh, and all the brushes you already have link on that, you know, maybe I'll I'll put the Micron PN on the description too. But all the other information and the color I'm using, 
you can of course hear me talk about it but if you don't catch it and you want to get the color it is in my product in, in the blog post i'll tell you and on the blog product list you will have a link anyway thank you so much and hope you will have a great time please do this okay bye bye okay we should get started and before we go into anything i'm going to show you um i told you in the intro i hope i do i will and that uh, this is what i did for my granddaughter my daughter who is um who is my partner in the whole channel uh, take care of all the computer technology stuff and she's been after me and this is what i did for her and i i might back up and take a picture of this this is the one that i draw um just by looking at the looking at the old books that I used to go to the library. And this is the um, freeing Winnie the Pooh from Piglet's uh, hole. Uh, no, not Piglet, actually Rabbit's uh, hole. And uh, and that was really fun. And I decided that uh, I will uh, make one that is uh, kind of my composition, my, um, my creation, I guess, you know, uh, and uh, follow after uh, Mr. Ernest Shepard. Um, okay, so before we go into anything, let's talk about the little picture that I have, and I will have um, something similar to this in the in my blog post. Okay, so you know, go look for this, and then if you really want to try it out, I think it's really beneficial for us. We have um, very very first thing when we uh, try to you know do a drawing or try to draw something just by observing and looking, um, we need to. Uh, to get the shape right okay and so and then I will you know kind of talk to you about angles and stuff okay now so we have a we have two circle that is uh, to preparation for Winnie the Pooh uh, body shape and uh, this is I, I um, you know I draw this for the shadow part because of the hole and uh, we will use value to bring out the hole okay or bring in the hole <laughs> I'll push back the hole Okay, the hole, the hole that Winnie the Pooh is stuck in, and this is Christopher Robin. And so I needed a shape of his head, you know, with a little bit of his neck and his body um, and going. And this is, um, you know, I learned my lesson. This um, angle is very, very important. When I was uh, younger and was learning by myself, I made a lot of mistakes because uh, I will talk about that. And uh, now what I did is I added Eeyore because... You know, still, we don't want to copy people just a straight out or we can. But as we challenge ourselves to put something else, then we have to think about all the things that go into putting somebody else over there without a picture that you can look at. Right. And so we will you will try to watch me do that as I go. OK, I hope that this is, you know, something that's really interesting for you. OK, so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into it because I don't really know how long this is this uh, filming is going to make. OK, so as you can see that there's a circle there. OK, so now since I've done it once, I, I pretty much um, uh, know a little bit about where I'm going to. I'm going to put on his ear. OK, now as we go, this the slope. It's very, very important, and we almost need to be very careful in following that, uh, not following in uh, uh, observing, okay? So this come down here. So what we're, in a way, what we're doing is I'm going to put his nose, okay? Now, I'm going to use my eraser. I think his nose is going down too deep over here, okay? And so I want it a little bit shallower, and with his, um, the little black area of his nose, okay? And then down here, come down here, and then straight down over here. Okay, now over this, I have a line going straight up. And what does that remind me is to um, that, you know, when I pull uh, Winnie the Pooh's arm over here. Okay, I need to have that angle. I like to have that angle. Okay, because that's the correct angle for Winnie the Pooh's arm. Okay, and so over here, there's another arm coming, you know, and so the line that I kind of, you know, what I actually did earlier when I was preparing this is the line over here I just kind of you know scribble a line but now I you know I'm doing the real thing so I want it to be a little bit going the right direction okay and then it's coming down here to his body okay now you can see that I am I am kind of going and then there should be a little 
area for his um chubby little body to come out okay now so we need the pool is done okay now you can see that the line are actually quite uh and i'm going to you know uh, just compare coming down from the nose there should be the eye just right here okay and so he's done he's pretty much done okay and then uh, you can uh, see that I'm kind of going a little bit fast, but you know, don't worry about me, okay? If you really are going to try, now I want to have Christopher Robin's uh, little flash of his uh, hand, you know, uh, touching Winnie the Pooh's um, the forearm, okay? Because, um, you know, his forearm is going to be the same color, but Christopher Robin is going to be, now this needs to be a little bit of a rounded shape, okay? And then we go up all the way to his uh, shoulder, the beginning of his shoulder over here, okay? So we can just start drawing the the fabric of his uh, shirt, okay? It's coming over here. Now, I'm pushing a little bit hard and I'm not too worried about it though. I just reminded myself. The reason is because, um, okay. Okay, I, I will just tell you why I just erase it because, um, okay, for a boy to be pulling really hard, his arm area should be very strict. The other one that I had was bending down a little bit, so I needed to correct that. As soon as I draw it, and then I push back and look at it, I realized that, hey, Kathy, that was not correct. Okay, and so this is how I do things. And then uh, coming down here, okay, he's bending, he's arching his, his torso with all of his might, okay? And that's what happened. And Ernest Shepard really did an absolutely fantastic job in, uh, in uh, his... Um, uh, you know, in his creation, you know, he really can get the body and, you know, someone who's exerting energy um, and how it would look like, uh, okay? And so he, I'm sure that he has like some children. Now there's a collar right here that I need to put in because, you know, all the spaces need to have the right thing put in. Um, because I think what he, do, he does is he probably had a model, a little boy or whatever, a child, you know, um, bend down and let him uh, observe how his body shape should be. When I first went to the library many, many years ago, um, I, I told you that I don't really, now when I say that I don't really have a teacher, like what I really mean is I don't really have time to go to a teacher. And uh, so he's his, the, the, the hair that's draping down of Winnie the Pooh, I mean of, um, uh, of uh, Christopher Robin, okay? And so you don't really need to paint his face. Now his hair is like totally what you need, okay? So I have this this area coming down here and now his shirt and this is what I did. And so, what? Um, okay, I'll just do his pants and I'll tell you, I'll keep telling you the story, okay? Of uh, when I was not, so I went to, when I say I don't have a teacher it's because I don't really have the time I have to, you know, at that time I have to take care of my children and uh, I don't even go to Sister England's house uh, to draw anymore. So, and that was the hard part because I really, you know, realized that I don't really have the time. And so, but when I now, I have a line right here to show me the angle, okay? The angle of his leg coming down here, push, pushing himself against the, against the floor. And that's how people exert their energy, right? Especially little kids, you know? If you remember when, um, you know, well, I remember when I was young, I would uh, do tug of war. That is one of the, um, this, I realized that this angle need to be a little bit stricter. Okay, right there. Now this is the very good re eraser that I told you guys all the time that you can use that on watercolor paper and it won't make um, big damage, okay? And so now his leg is coming and um, you can see that I'm drawing this calf muscle right here okay now actually as i'm looking at it i want the calf muscle to be a little bit higher just a tag higher because that's more realistic okay and then i come over here and then i draw his socks his white socks and then you know uh, right here is just a uh, drawing you know just uh you know just uh, be careful drawing um you know what i'm looking at is uh is uh, an old book that he uh that uh, people published at 1920 and so when I went to the library, that's what I did. I just um, look around for uh, old books, and uh, I somehow run into him. I say, "Hey, what the? What is this?" You know, and I, you know, I got really excited, and so I, um, 
start uh, start uh, reading the this book is like uh, his drawing and what he does with his drawing and so I uh, you know how he uh, practice and get the you know uh, him being a very very seasoned artist he also practice and and uh, so I I just grab hold of that book and I was so happy I was so happy that I actually get myself that book now um, you know, it should come, maybe I should make his pants a little bit longer, okay? A little bit longer with Christopher Robin's pants, okay? And so what I observe on, and I look from the old photo is that his leg, his uh, leg behind should come out like right like that, okay? And so that's good. And so what Christopher Robin is, is uh, so we have to make sure that we see how he dig in his heel, right? And so that the way he push himself and use his energy to get Rene the Pooh uh, free, okay? So, you know, quickly we have done, um, you know, his shirt is coming this way. Why is that? It's because of Eeyore, okay? So now I'm looking at Eeyore and uh, and I know that, uh, you know, from over here, that's his, you know, I kind of draw an oval here uh, where his face is, but now I need to match up his mouth to the end of... Um, to Christopher Robin's uh, shirt, okay? So it come down like right there. Okay, and then it come over here right like that. So Eeyore is a donkey, right? And so we are going to show how a donkey exert his energy to help Winnie the Pooh to get free, okay? And so we want to draw his ear because that's how Ernest Shepherd, um, you know, did it, okay? So he's, um, <laughs> he's very, very cute. When you try to follow people like that, you know, what you can see is, you know, what an awesome artist he is, you know. And so the shirt can come out, okay, if this is Eeyore's mouth that is facing that way, okay, the shirt can come, the little tail of the shirt, okay. So what Eeyore is doing is he is, you know, I hope that you guys can see he's biting onto Winnie the Pooh's shirt and, you know, and uh, pulling on it so that that's the way he he uh, helped himself um, to, uh, you know, get the grip that he need, right? To exert his energy, okay? So his Eeyore coming this way, you know, that's, uh, we're gonna put some of the dark uh, hair of Eeyore, which is so famous that we know, okay? Now, now that I'm over here, I want this to be a little bit rounder, okay? I want him to round out and not be so long and come down over here, the reason is, um, because I don't want him to look like he's sitting down because once you sit down, then that's the end, right? If a person, if you do tug of war, a person actually sit down, then the, the line cannot keep going. So you can't really sit down. He need to kind of push down on his hip area, okay? And still, you also need to dig in his heel, okay? Now, so let's not make him so fat because Eeyore is, is chubby, but not that fat, okay? And so let's uh, make him a little bit higher over there, okay? And then it has his fall leg, and that is very, that should be quite easy, okay? Now, so this eraser will give us the opportunity to actually draw, draw, okay? He's digging in his heel right here. Uh, okay, I want him to dig in his heel a little bit harder, okay? So he's Digging in his heel, okay? That is a little bit better, right? And then let's uh, give him his other leg. You know, we'll be over here a little bit. And also, both of his legs need to dig in, right? Because he's uh, trying to help out. And he need to uh, help uh, as much as he can, okay? Dig in his heel. And that will be good exercise for him for the day. Okay, and then right over here, Eeyore's tail. The famous tail of Eeyore come down here, okay? Um, I don't know if an animal actually used their tail. I, I think hardly, but, you know, I'm just going to, you know, just leave it for our imagination. Okay, now, that's it. All the major drawing is done, but I have to, you know, now change to my micron, okay? This micron PN is actually um, at the last leg, okay? But the reason why when they are like that, I like to use that is because it give it actually give us, um, give us a... Uh, you know, um, it's not as juicy. Okay, so, uh, you know, so this is the second time, right? We come in, or almost the third time, if you um, count um, uh, 
if you count uh, the first time that you put the shape as uh, the first try. Now, um, so you don't have to go as fast as me. Just uh, pause it, you know, and uh, and check it. And, uh, you know, with the reference picture that uh, the final draft that I have done um, that I put on the on the top over here. So you can just, you know, follow along if you really wanted to. I think that learning to, um, you know, do things like that and illustrate is a very, very good thing because, you know, grandchildren galore, right? And they would just love it, you know, if they're younger and they you can actually do this for them in their room. You know, you can even, if you um, get yourself to be more proficient, you can either actually do a mural, which is, you know, there's a lot of things to overcome with a mural, but you know, if we wanted to do that, that would be something that's really fun that we could do, you know, and so for our grandkid, right? And so here are the squiggly line that uh, help us now. We are, as we are doing the shape, you know, with the with this micron ink pen, we are also uh, trying to, we are also trying to do the form, okay? Meaning that we want this to be an oval or a ball, not a, not a circle, okay? And so this is the this is the 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 um the proper time okay so we're gonna put in some swiggly line over here and what the swiggly line does is to make his arm his forearm a cylinder okay a cylinder and uh, you do a little bit over here too and that will help make his uh, whole face become a you know and then the back ear we want it to be a little darker than the front ear okay and then we're gonna do a little bit of uh, you know, of uh, what you, you know, the value line, right? Of drawing, okay? And so that is, uh, that is uh, really fun, okay? And so we're gonna darken this ever so slightly. You know, you can see that I'm putting in the value to turn this into a form, okay? Instead of, uh, okay, I want his tummy to be just a tag a little bit bigger, okay? A little bit fatter, okay? So he's coming out now. And so let's go on to Christopher Robin's head, okay? I am so, um, this is actually a tribute to um, Ernest Shepard because I'm so grateful for him. I'm so grateful that he had, they had uh, documented the process of how he does things. Now, I'm trying to make his, this, uh, this bunch of his hair, hair at the back look full. The, re, the, the way to make it look full is to add value, add the darkness over here, okay? The shadowy darkness, so as the head hair is going down, so it's darker in this spot. And that uh, Ernest Sherpa actually had documentary doc uh, um, had a um, you know uh, take uh, people had taken pictures of things of him actually um, how he how the process of his creating in this is fascinating in that book, and uh, and so. As we know, in the year 2003, I think that is when Winnie the Pooh is um, uh, the Ernest Shepherd one, not the Disney one. This is the Ernest Shepherd one. Okay, it's his neck. Okay, coming out just a little bit over there. Okay, and uh, and so let's do his body shape first. Okay, and then we come down over here and let you pull his shirt. Okay, pull his shirt over there, and we'll do something over there in a minute. I'll show you. And so uh, it is really the the um you know the blessing of the whole world right and uh, that we can now um you know publicly i guess you know um come out and you know be able to you know create things like what i'm doing right now you know without running into problem okay you can see that i do some swiggly line over here and that's to uh, portray the bunching up of his shirt okay Bunching up of his shirt over a different area, and I'm actually following what Ernest Shepherd himself, Mr. Shepherd, does. Oh, I'm just so grateful for him. And when I find that out, when I, I now I'm doing the value, right? I'm darkening this area so that this suddenly it looked like a cylinder. You can tell, right? And then I'm going to come in and make his uh, make his shirt over here. You know, it's bunching up. Okay, and then this part also come over here for Eeyore to get a grip. On it okay and then we're gonna do the pants I hope I'm uh, explaining this um, clearly and uh, you know I just uh, you know I, I promise you guys that once in a while I will do things like that the reason is because um, 
you know the the uh, now when I do that then it just make his pants look like it's what that has volume and so we're gonna also make this and make a circle and darken this area darken this when his shirt come down to his pants okay so make it like more of a cylinder area too okay cylindrical okay and then there comes his uh you know the maybe this part is a little bit harder it really is uh you know i'm not going to you know you know if you can follow along it's an accomplishment you know and do this and uh you should pat yourself on the back because um drawing is drawing is a very hard thing so you know but it is it is a so such an important thing for us to learn to do okay so that's his socks and then that is his heel that he's sticking sticking onto the floor okay so i am doing that and this side this shoes also and that's his socks right there and then his leg and the calf muscle kind of go up a little bit like that, okay? So that's the hind leg and that's the foreleg. And now, after we've done that, we also need to come in here. There is a dip over here. We need to... Now, uh, when you use uh, an ink pen or whatever, you know, I like to use Micron. To do things like that, it actually helps you that you don't have to worry too much about the form when you put in watercolor. We still worry. We still use our shadow you know, to put here, but, you know, the hard work of uh, portraying the form, the form meaning this cylinder, this circle, this circle, is already done uh, with the shadow that we put in there, okay? And so, now Christopher Robin, you can tell his clothes are bunching up over here. And so, we also need it to bunch up over here where Eeyore is pushing, uh, no, is grabbing onto it, okay? And so, let's quickly, you know, because I just want this to be done in good time and we're actually we're actually doing three character right we're doing Eeyore uh, Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin and that is hard that is hard for us to um, <clears throat> within an hour maybe an hour and 15 minutes you know uh, be able to do so and so it is uh, Mr. Shepard's um, uh, um, Design that Eos ear need to be like that when he's exerting his energy. Now this is actually I I took this part of Eo from a different um, from a different part of the story where he and uh, Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh were bouncing. Okay, so we are doing the hair of Eo, which is really cute, right? And I think it goes down to here and then it stops. Okay, just a little bit and make sure that it is him, right? You can tell that's Eeyore. I hope you can. Okay, and then I round this up, round this up a little bit. And there, he was exerting the energy to bounce, um, uh, to bounce ticker, okay, up onto the tree. And so I thought, oh, okay, that is a very, very um, appropriate, you know, for me to, you know, do the design that way, right? But of course, you know, when you bounce somebody up the tree and pulling someone is totally different energy and different uh, muscle of Eeyore. So I would just, you know, use some experience and, you know, make up the difference for that, you know, just so that we can we can use this at this appropriate place. OK, so I want Eeyore, like I say earlier, to take in his heel a little bit. OK, and so you can see that. And so when drawing like that you have plenty of time to fix and adjust things okay so his ears tail is coming up and the bushy his signature tail right um okay i don't see the pin of ear you know how the tails of ears is being pinned so i'm going to just pin it right there just put a pin kind of like that okay um you know just uh, because i know that <laughs> okay i know that eeyore has a pin and so now we're gonna do this the shadow part okay we we have to do we have to do this you know so that his face will look a little bit uh rounder and his uh round body will look a little bit rounder you know and it's an oval instead of uh you know it's a, a you know it's a kind of like a ball instead of uh you know an oval i guess <laughs> okay so we're gonna have him um, have some shadow and we're grateful for shadow because shadow help us to portray the form of an object okay 
so the form is correct and it's three dimensional therefore instead of two okay all right and so eor is like uh pulling and so uh let me look around and see if this is um this is uh uh i have uh, get everything that i wanted to uh written now okay okay i think i would like to like just give um christopher robbins body um the shirt a little bit of uh tucking over there okay and we need oh oh yeah okay this part okay this is the where the hole is coming out okay so this is um we need to you know have this dark area and gradually go to the lighter area okay so now we're gonna darken the area around this hole where where we need the pool is coming out of okay when and then uh, it will you know when we're done with our coloring then you will see that truly uh it looks like he is coming out of a hole you know so we need the pool will soon be free okay soon be free okay and so we're gonna use this uh, with the micron helping us but as we go out out we're gonna have lighter okay not as dark of a shade and then we can see okay and so we're gonna start coloring right now okay okay so now we're gonna go into the watercolor and i'm going to use the flow brush um, you you can tell i'm trying to go quickly or talk quickly but um don't worry about it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow light here to do the head of uh, Christopher Robin, okay? But to do the first layer of the of his hair, because you know Christopher Robin is blonde, from what I understand, um, from what I can tell. So, and so what I was saying is, uh, you know, it's now the uh, the royalty or copyright is over. Um, and so we can actually enjoy having now I'm going to let that dry and then I put two color you know I was so happy when I am looking at this okay and so we're gonna make uh, Christopher Robbins pants a little bit red okay? okay make sure that it is totally dried I didn't even think about it because I really just you know do it real time in front of you guys and I am uh, not I'm not wearing any um, you know, so let's uh, do his, you know, a little bit orangey red, okay? Do his pants a little bit orangey red. Now, this is the part we don't really have to follow exactly uh, what um, Ms., uh, Mr. Ernie Shepard, you know, um, because we are going to, there's freedom, right? For you to, you know, explore what you want it to do, okay? All right. Just like that, okay? And then I'm going to use a little bit of the... This is cadmium, yeah, me, red, medium, uh, red medium. And put the shadowy part a little bit... A little bit darker, okay? But because of the ink drawing, it really is kind of fun that we can just... Now his shirt is white, so in the very shadowy, uh, shadowy area, like right here, we're going to put a little bit of... Of pink's gray okay because you you know that you can uh, paint the shadow when you are when you're doing white and it will be fine and it will still look like a, a white shirt okay don't worry too much and then this area okay it's the shadowy area there's a little bit of shadow over here okay and then don't overdo the shadow don't overdo the shadow and then uh, it will just it will be a white shirt you know, to your audience, okay? And then uh, let's uh, do, I think it's quinacridone gold. Since we have all, all the, uh, remember we do this with the little bird. And so we have the ink with us, quinacridone gold. And this is uh, uh, the Maya Mary Blue, the, um, what do you call that? The the uh, uh, golden lake, okay? So we lake, and so we're gonna use that, you know, for his shoes, okay? At, at least the tip part of his shoes and then as it go down we're gonna use some burn umber burn umber and the and uh, the quinacridone gold is just fine okay they are very very good together don't worry they will not make a big puddle of mud over here merge the two color together okay ah have fun you know the fun part about when i was uh, when you're following um uh let's let's do eeyore okay now i'm not going to 
too much fuss about you know the original color what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use pink gray with a dab of royal blue okay that's what i'm gonna do to eos body okay that looked kind of intense but don't worry i'm coming in to soften it okay as i go the reason why is you know it's like you know we don't have to you know um we learn as much as we can from mr shepherd and uh and we, it's not necessary to follow, uh, uh, you know, if you don't have that right color. I wasn't thinking because I just wanted to do Eeyore. Um, I mean, I just really wanted to film this. Um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. And so, um, so I didn't like really go in and look at all over my paints and see if I have Eeyore's color. But, you know, to me that, you know, because this is Eeyore, everybody knows that. I mean, everybody can tell, hopefully, hopefully. You know, um, I'm I do a decent job about portray portraying that of EO, but you put that together, him together with Christopher Robin, and we need to pull everybody know who you're trying to paint. At least I hope so. And so, and uh, and he is really an awesome artist. As you as you um, trying to when you're trying to copy an artist or learn, you know from his drawing and such, what you can, you know, what you will notice is, you know, the different of color that he put in a painting to portray and the, you know, and the correct composition, the composition was beautiful. Um, his composition was beautiful. And we just really, really uh, appreciate those awesome, those awesome and just a little bit of paint gray right there. Okay. And there you go. That's ER is done. Unless I want to come in and do something, I don't think so. Let's put in some of his tail, okay? And then let's look at the flashy tone, okay? So the flashy tone, what I always want to do is I use some burnt sienna and mix with a little bit of red, okay? And then uh, this is the flashy tone, okay? So the flashy tone of his legs, of Christopher Robin's leg. You know, um, it might look a little bit red to you, okay? Um, but I would, like after everything is... Uh, drawn out and painted out it doesn't it wouldn't look so red okay so that's that's it and then i will do the back because we don't really have to worry about the shadow part because we already did that with our ink and so that is really kind of kind of fun way to you know to do things and uh, maybe get that a little bit wider but not necessary okay so that's and so uh up, mm, above his shirt and underneath his blonde hair, there should be a flashy tone over here, okay? And that will let you know that that's his neck right there. Okay, I think uh, his hair is done. So what we're gonna do is, uh, because it's golden, and so we're gonna put a little bit of uh, sepia. That's what I did with that painting. My daughter is really funny. She said, Mom, you wanted to uh, film. I also wanted you to uh, make a painting for my daughter's room. And so I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna. I haven't really decided what the second one is. Okay. And so that gives you the shadow area. Okay. And to put, uh, make sure that the value, the change in value, make the head look more, uh, more round. Okay. So this is actually kind of wet. Maybe I'll come back. Maybe I won't. Okay. So this is what happened and then the neck part we don't have to do that don't worry about that too much because there's already some gray area is it pencil mark i don't know but it, it it looks gray okay so we need to pull and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use yellow ochre first okay that's his first layer of yellow ochre but we need to pull you know just the the paints are not even need to be that intense okay leave some white area for for the um, pretty sunshine. I just love the 100 acre wood. Um, <laughs> you know, um, because it's like kind of similar to what I did when I was young. I like to, you know, in my mind, make up stories and go outside. I'm a, I'm a wanderer. I, I guess I have told you guys a lot. I, I like to go wander around my neighborhood a lot. And mainly by myself. I don't know why I don't go with my brother probably because we have different preference or maybe he doesn't want to take me um i don't recall there's any reason but i'm always alone 
and uh, sometime I got into that we have a cemetery close to us and some kind I get into the wooded area and you know I usually doesn't like our, uh, darkness I always thought that darkness is kind of scary and so I don't go in there but um, now we're gonna let we need to put dry okay and so meanwhile what we're gonna do is we're going to and uh, we can do the hole uh, let's just do the hole okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go straight into the burn umber okay and then uh, give this area you know and because the, of the ink drawing right the darker part, the value part is already kind of established. But I'm going to come in after the burn number is dry to intensify that area. Okay, maybe a little bit in between the arm. And here's the, here's the poo getting free from this hole. And a lot of time I would... Uh, oh, there's a, another flashy part that we forgot to do is his... His little hand that's, that we need to pull is, is grabbing on with his life, right? Okay. Wow, how cute. Um, And as of right now, I wanted to put some of the thickening in the heel mark with the micron. Okay. Accentuate the situation. Okay. And here's uh, <laughs> his Eeyore doing that. Okay. And we want Eeyore to have another... Uh, leg over there okay and that's it that's that's what i'm gonna do and so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do some green area at the back um so use my green and so i will go with um together you know so this is the you know it's the forest so my green mix is perfect for this okay so we're just gonna start over here because you know we do need to do the background okay uh because what it does is it will um accentuate the the it will bring out the body the um the illustrated area so i hope you guys like this like drawing um you know quickly you know i am so sorry that i have to do it quick because you know it's just the way things are right you need to just um and i'm dipping in for some uh in the goal okay that is also part of my green mix so that this green area is very alive i like things to be alive Okay, and the green is going to come over here because, you know, uh, it's in my imagination. I imagine that, you know, rabbit has a, has a hole, right, that he lived in. And uh, and I guess this is the hole. Is it what happened in the story? This is the hole where he come up, where he come out, right, to in and out with his family or whatever. And... Uh, and that's where Winnie the Pooh need to say goodbye or after he ate a lot of stuff. Was it honey from rabbits? Um, uh, uh, from rabbits uh, home. And then he had ate a little too much. That's why he was stuck. And then, you know, rabbit is very distressed because he didn't like the fact that now he has a, a fatter kind of bear stuck in his house and got Crystal Robin to come and rescue him. You know, you've seen that uh, that painting that I showed, the piled up, right? There's, a, there's actually a hedgehog. You know, it's just really fun. You know, I I respect the, you know, people's um, creation, you know, and I'm so glad that, you know, it is just that, you know. I mean, as much as I wanted to be able to do this kind of thing, and now I can do it because the copyright is, is done, but you know and now indigo you know indigo so i'm just uh, switching between perlene green sap green you know and indigo okay and that mix up for this and this is a little bit of darker area so i would do that okay just make it a little bit dark but i'm just dropping it. i'm not really you know i'm just uh doing it as i go i'm not really kind of worry about what to do and uh, what color and all those things okay you can just paint over the 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 micron right wow this micron is uh very good to us okay now not a lot not a lot of uh, oh i just really love that you know i hope you guys um really embrace my green mix and get yourself exactly you know that those color because i always say it's a gift from me to you because of my years of uh you know of uh, trying different color and finally i find a combination that just work perfectly and i hope you guys take advantage of that and know that i love it that you 
you know that you know it. You know it's not a secret to me. I like to share that, and、uh, and have that because you look at all the color as we're going. It doesn't, you know, really make it look any,、um, you know, muddy at all, right? And so I always like, oh, you know, you guys get the green mix because it's just a, a very good mix, and you guys can just have fun use it. You know, and have fun with it. Then you, every time you, you know, we you paint, then you don't have to worry. Okay, we're just coming in here. You know, in this tight area. Every time you paint, then you just, you know, when whenever you need to go to a wooded area, like when we paint birds or flower or whatever, you know, you have it right here, right there with you. And I have a dish, and I bring that with me when I go, on, you know, when I draw,、uh, outdoor. You know, I really love drawing, and I know that I I have to stress it with you guys that you know take a sketchbook with you and try to learn how to look at look at things、uh, carefully, really what they really are, what the shape really are, because、um, your brain might want to tell you something else, like oh, you know, the brain will try to tell you, hey, this is not what、well, this is,、uh, you know, the face should always be like this and like that, but you know.、Uh, But、uh, we, as artists, we use our eye carefully, and and、uh, and then we will be correct. You know, we will be able to get things correctly. I'm going to intensify this area of ear too. Maybe use some black color. I'll see. Okay. And、uh, I was going to tell you guys, you know, how much,、uh, you know, usually a family love to, you know, just kind of doing perlin green, sap green, and just mixing the color together. Okay. And、don't worry much about. And now we have to, you know, I my my、um, my plan is to do a, a little bush over here, but、uh, not a lot. Okay, so I'm dropping some more color, so this part is not as、um, plain, you know, and just one color. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Okay, up a little bit, so that what this will do is like you know that there's a hue of some kind over here. And that's why I'm trying to a heel of some kind, like a little, you know, rabbit heel that the rabbit decided that to dig into the heel and build his home, build her, his, yeah, his rabbit is his, build his home. Okay, and so now I'm going to let that dry before I put the bush on, and I'm going to use、uh, some darker burn umber mixed with、uh, burn umber mixed with black. Okay, and I'm going to come into here. The reason I want to touch it with my fingers, I wanted to make sure that the first layer is dry, okay? And give that a little bit more shadow, and then pull the color out so to soften it, so you can see that you know your eye will tell you why we need to pull. Really, is in a hole, a very tight hole. That is. <laughs> This is fun. I will do this kind of thing with you guys from time to time because I really think that it.、Uh, I hope that it encourage us to try to draw and、uh, be able to reap the、uh, benefit of drawing. Because drawing is really fun, really really fun. And、um, you know, it will come to you as practice. You know, as we practice. Okay, look at. How fun that is! Okay, and this part is still so I'm gonna intensify this bottom and put some grass on it. Okay, so oh well, yeah. Let's、uh, turn to the zero brush and use a little bit of、uh, a darker, you know, a sharper, you know, because in his original painting there's a lot of grass, and the grass, you know, what grass does is it give、uh, a painting movement, right? Even the grass are trying to, trying to pull. You know, it's going like this direction. Okay, the grass is exerting its energy to help out Winnie the Pooh, and then、uh, I don't like the grass to be one color, so I'm going to put some sap green here. Okay, to mix in with that. Okay, underneath Eeyore and at the back.、Um, one Christmas, I actually went with my my friends to Salt Lake City to.、Um, 
uh, not Christmas, it was Thanksgiving because um, we have nowhere to go, didn't feel like going home. Um, home is very far away, you know, a long time of drive and we need to study. And so at Thanksgiving during college, we uh, went to, now this is, I'm going to intensify the shadow over here, just give it some color, okay? Um, so we, um, I, I was uh, totally mesmerized at the, this old house that my my friend's grandpa, we went to her her grandpa's house to have Thanksgiving and it has a upper attic, just like, um, just like uh, Tinkerbell and um, what is the, sorry, give me a minute, it will come back, um, uh, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell, you know, and Mary, right? Uh, is that Mary? Is that the name of Sarah? Well, the, the girl, her house, you know, the, there's a window that opened up and you felt like you can just fly off. And it was so fun. And then the next morning, uh, we 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 need to, we wanted to just Susan and I wanted to get some exercise in. And we say, hey, um, this tandem is it called tandem bicycle? So she say, okay, Kathy, you need to. Uh, that's the first time I ride a tandem bicycle. You need to push hard with me, okay? So it's two persons effort. And of course, that was my first time. And she said that I was trying as hard as I can. And, but she said that I wasn't pushing too hard. It was all her. Anyway, whatever. And uh, so I, I felt really bad and I pushed even harder. But it was hard. But we went to 100 acre wood and that was so fun. Um, because I went in there and I say, oh my gosh, this is about one of the funnest places that I have ever been. Um, you know, uh, it was a big, big uh, wooded area with a path and we just ride around there. And that was very sweet of my friend to uh, allow me to go with her to get some exercise. And, um, you know, even when I was young, I tell you that I like 100 acre woods. I like woody area. I like, but I don't like darkness. It always scare me. And, uh, uh, you know, probably, you know, just uh, some twig, okay, as Ernest Shepard did you know, coming out of this area, okay? So, it just, it just, uh, I think it's just his way of um, just uh, showing people, you know, how fun the wood is. And I just, I just love it. And so after I got married, I, you know, was still quite young. And one time we were in Salt Lake City and I said, James, can we? You know, if I can try to find out, I didn't want to, you know, Susan, Susan has gone to, Atlanta, I think that's where she is now. And so I didn't want to just go bother her. So I say, you and I can find it. Okay, so I'm coming in to soften. Even the bush, I don't want it to be too sharp, okay? Because it is not the, you know, the main area, right? And so I, I'm just coming over here and soften it a little bit, okay? And so I'm going to put some green there using my green mix right here with my zero brush and maybe pearling green mixed with a little bit of indigo and just uh, dab some leaves coming out of these uh, little twigs and branches that are, you know, around rabbit's house. And this part is actually quite, uh, quite uh, um, consistent with what uh, uh, Mr. Shepard's uh, design, okay? And so I'm just going to, but you know, not quite the same, right? Not quite the same because we, like I say, we don't need to copy him perfectly, you know, and, uh, you know, your family and your children will really love this when, if you do things like this, I was going to tell you my, my son-in-law, Tom, um, he, uh, my older daughter's husband, he, he loved his grandma who lived in Canada in, uh, the, uh, in the Alberta, area and they have a farm and his grandma once in a while would like to go and uh, uh, paint some of the area of the farm and um, he know that he probably probably know that that painting will never go to him you know way in line right because uh, grandchildren and children they just love their parents uh, artwork and so uh, he went and took a picture of um, his grandma's painting and then use his uh, really good phone and take the picture and then he uh, blow it into a you know you can do that now you know into a canvas painting and uh of his grandma's painting and just uh it's up in his house you know i was very you know i like sentimental things like that i was proud of him okay so there's our little bush that is behind we need the pool's head 
Okay, and this is uh, how uh, I think we are done. If I look around, I'm going to make sure that I have everything that I wanted to. Um, I think so. I think that there is a uh, there is a uh, nothing. Oh yes, one last thing is I'm going to put a little bit of um, quinacridone gold or the golden lake, whatever you can get your hands on on top of uh, to put it in this area okay because uh, like I say you know you can tell when you paint you know uh, when you study an artist and his work very carefully that they uh, they don't just uh, not normally leave it with one color okay so what this does is it just enrich the yellow ochre the, the color of uh, we need the pool our uh, pool bear Okay, and then you can bring some of the, the the golden color down here and some of it down here just to make things very consistent. You know, I, I always like to say I'm sneaking the color in a little bit over here. And that's it. Wow, I can't believe that. It was good time. I hope it's not too fast. If it is, then you just slow it down, okay, for yourself and, you know, do uh, what, the, what it takes for you. Um, okay, let's get some sepia over here and put it over here, intensify his, uh, the donkey's hair. Hey, also. Okay, and just like that. And soften that up a little bit on the bottom part. Okay, all right. Hey, thank you so much. I hope we really have fun. I have a lot of fun. And I will uh, post this very soon, and I will see you in the next painting. Thank you so much.